Hey Jeff, this is Jessica from Peterson SEO. Thank you so much for speaking with me yesterday and requesting your free video. So today we're going to go over just a few tips that you can apply right away that's really going to help with your online presence and getting more of those organic leads. That way you don't have to rely on paid lead services like Angie's or Home Advisor. Now, nearly 70% of your organic leads are going to come from your website. So it is really important that your website be properly optimized so you can capture that traffic. All right, so here we are on your website. This is awesome. Click to call right on top, making it easy for your customers. I love to see that. You have a separate page for each of your major services, which is great. You want to make sure that each of these pages have their own original content and that they're focused on their own local buyer intent keywords rather than just focusing on your brand. Your brand is important, but it's also a national keyword, which means that majority of the traffic that you get on your website is going to be national traffic rather than local and is not going to convert into customers. So let's look here. It's your home page. And I'm really not seeing any keywords used other than your brand. Okay. And these are your service areas. So it's great that you have them mentioned, but I would actually um, recommend having separate service area pages for each of these cities, at least the cities that have search volume for your services. Um, you definitely should have a separate page. And those service area pages would be like mini home pages. And that's going to allow you to actually be found in Green Bay and Appleton and some of these other areas that you service organically. And then you don't have to try and bury keywords for these cities on your other pages. Um, your home page and service pages should be focused around one specific location. Uh, what else do we got here? I'm sorry, I forgot to turn off the notifications. Okay. All right, so uh, a website is not ranked based on appearance. It's based on content. Content is key, and you do need a lot of content. Google wants you to have a minimum of 1,500 words of content on your home page, um, 250 words for every keyword you're going to target, and that's based on what also your competitors are doing. So if your competitors have more content, you need more than they have. Uh, but you need to focus that content built around your services and um, local buyer intent keywords so that you can actually be found for relevant keywords that are going to convert into customers. If we look at your top competitor, um, I looked in De Pair, De Pierre. Um, and you are actually coming up organically, even though you normally wouldn't be, um, for some of the major keywords. And the reason is you don't have a whole lot in competition, um, that have any type of wording like that on their website. Um, but if your competitors actually started using SEO and got competitive, you would not be anywhere near the first page. So I took and found your top competitor for Green Bay, and that is Anderson Basement of Repairs. Um, they have their phone numbers up top. I don't like that they have this over their menu, but it is what it is. Um, services. So they don't appear to have separate service pages. So that's going to hurt them. Nope, they don't have separate service pages. And let's see what their homepage looks like. Okay. 
So these guys don't have any content. So these guys are going to be super easy for you to beat in Green Bay. Um, you have to have better content than they have. More content focused on the buyer intent keywords. Um, and then support your website with SEO. That way you can actually be found online. If we look here, you have a score of a 0.4 out of 100 in Google's trust flow, which is 100% based on your backlinks and referring domains. Not all are created equal. And while you do need a lot of these, you only want authoritative do follow links so that they give your website authority and help you to rank. Um, if we look here, you only have 20 that are do follow. So you only have 20 backlinks doing anything remotely to help your website. And that's because Google only gives you credit for one backlink per referring domain. And only 20 of those are do follows. You have been indexed for over a hundred keywords and you're getting about 53 people to your website. Um, but if we actually look at your keywords and what's bringing the traffic, it is all national keywords. Even though it's branding, these are national keywords. And so majority of the traffic you're actually getting is not going to be local. If you actually want to drive traffic and get them to convert into customers, you have to focus on these local buyer intent keywords. If we look at your competitor, they have a score of a zero with uh, over a hundred backlinks, which just proves that not all backlinks are created equal. And out of their referring domains, eight of those are do follow. So you'd have to beat their eight do follow referring domains in quantity as well as quality. And they've been indexed for 48 keywords and they're getting 48 local people on average per month because the keywords they're focusing on are the local buyer intent keywords. So these guys will be super easy to beat, but you do have to work on the strategies that I mentioned. And then um, you want to also make sure you're in the top three here for um, the maps because 30% of people search here and don't search anywhere else. So I did notice for a couple of your keywords, you are in the top three and others you're not. So you definitely want to optimize this and make sure that you're in the top three um, so you don't send those leads to your competition. Now, in order to be in the top three, there's several factors, the most, but the most important are your citations, and that's the name of your business, address, phone number, and website, and listing those in a bunch of directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and Glassdoor, and you're going to need more of those than your competition. But if you follow all of these tips I provided you today, your website has the opportunity to be number one in each of your service areas for all of your services. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you found it helpful and would love your feedback. If you have any questions, go ahead and give me a call at the number on the screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you.